Dixie. 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 Come here. Come on, come on. Do a video, Diggs. What's up, puppy? We're gonna talk about your favorite pump. Your favorite pump's my favorite. He loves the Nero. Ah, you like Nero? Speak. If you like Nero, Diggs, speak. Diggs likes the Nero. I like the Nero. Okay. Long overdue video. Very overdue. Nero. Aqua Illuminations take on a wave maker. If you saw any of the other videos that we have here on the channel, I'm constantly talking about these things and we did that best wave maker of 2020 review video. Nero came out on top in my opinion out of all the wave makers that I personally tried. This thing is the best. So I'm just going to run down the reasons why I absolutely love this pump and you should consider it as the wave maker for your aquarium. Oh, you just got the Nero on your tank. Yeah, what do you think? I'm doing a Nero review video right now. The, she said F word love it. I don't think I can say the F word in the videos or YouTube will take I away uh, fart and love it. She fart and, <laughs> fart and loves it. Wait, why do you love it? Uh, it's, it's the three and it pushes so much power to being such a little unit. Well, Tia just got the three for her own tank at home and she loves it. So I think first thing I'm going to talk about is the price. So here in Canada, the small, the Nero 3 runs 209 and the larger one 270. I think um, in the States, it's 150 and 180 for the different sizes, but the point is for the price, it's very good value. You're getting a Wi-Fi controllable brand name pump. So they're not cheap, but they're not crazy expensive. They're very good value for the money, and I think they're well worth um, that money spent. It's a very high quality, uh, good pump at a fair, I think it's a good price. Second thing I'm gonna talk about is the size. So just looking at the tank, you can't even see them. They blend in really nicely if you have a black background on your tank. They're almost invisible. There's one that's a Nero 5 there in the top corner. One thing I don't really like is that they went with these green fan um, on the inside. Like they colored it the, the same color as their logo. So I think it'd be cool to have an option maybe for black. It kind of stands out. If it was all black, I think it would look sleeker. And I understand they're trying to represent the brand, but you guys are AI. It's aqua illumination. Everybody already knows you. We don't need the pump to be green. I get that's my one, um, my one thing. I guess I would change about them. But other than that, they're super sleek. The wire is really, really skinny, so it hides nicely. And the controller they give you, it's really small. I control them off the app. I don't even use the controller, so it's actually buried here, underneath um, the back of this tank, like. I've never, I don't even know how to use it. The app is so good, I don't see why you would use it, but if you do, the controller is super tiny. And it's very compact and easy to hide. Brings me to the next topic. This is our little COVID friendly checkout counter here. Maybe we should do a video on what it's like running a reef store during a pandemic. But anyways, the app is super easy to use. It's super easy to connect them. It's very user friendly. You don't need to read a manual or watch any videos on it. Like you could give this thing to a child and they would figure out how to use it. It connects really, really quickly. So from the home screen, you get these four modes here. Schedule means just run the schedule that you've picked. Pumps on means running them all at full strength. Feed mode turns them off for a couple of minutes so that you can feed your fish or corals. And then pumps off turns them off completely so that you can control, um, so that you can do whatever maintenance you want to do on the tank. Then for setting them and adjusting them, it's super easy. You just go to flow here on the bottom. You select your Nero. I have mine running on the uh, random mode. I think corals and reef tanks in general should have strong random flow. But let's say you wanted to run them like a traditional powerhead. You just drag and drop this here and then you tell it at what time it's running in that mode and then you control the strength. Like it's really, really easy to use. It's very user friendly. Uh, I'm in love with the app, but I'm running them in this random mode. So basically how weak you want to run them. So this is pretty cool because you can turn them down to basically nothing. They run like in slow motion, which is really cool. Or how strong you want them to run and then how much variance you want during that and then your on and off times. But it takes just a couple minutes to understand how to use the app. Very, very user friendly. I think they've done an awesome job on, on the app and it's super easy to connect. Like it's frustration free. How good is the app, Tia? Hey. Tia gives it thumbs up. She's using one at home, so we really like selling stuff here in the store that we use on our own, own reef tanks. We're all hobbyists here. We're using another one here on the Reefer 170, and we're using one Nero 5, and 
this thing is silent. I mean, there's no hum, there's no nothing. Some of the other uh, wave makers on the market, when you crank them up to full speed, you do get a slight whirring sound. Put your mask on. <laughs> Tell us how you feel about your Nero. This is real customer experience. You can't even buy this. Selling my MP10s for Nero's? Yeah. Selling and oh, oh, selling MP10. <laughs> Wait, why? Uh, I like that it connects to my AI app. The app. What else? Friends, whatever. The guy selling his MPs. They're, they're a great pump, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing a video review on them right now. Yeah, we can't get enough of these things. How much are you selling your MP10s for? 150? What's wrong with them, huh? Do you find that they're loud? Do you, do you find that they're loud? If you don't set them right. If you don't, if you don't set, set them right, yeah. Them. Yes, the magnets got to line up perfectly on the back, yeah. But I'm running them at like one. Okay, wait, even if you do line them up, do you notice that you do hear the sound coming out of them? I use an MP10 for four years. It's loud as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing, I have, to, I have to edit out the swearing. They're loud as fart. Are we allowed to say fart? I think we can say fart. Yeah, they're loud as fart. They're like, <laughs> yeah. And some pumps on the market are loud as <laughs> sizing. Okay, so how? What's the biggest you would run a Nero three on? On a sixty gallon, you're running a Nero three. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna say up to Nero three for up to fifty gallons. It's the smallest you'd put it on. No smaller Nero than three? maybe ten. Yeah. Like I've seen people run them on the Fluval Evo. No, no, no. You can put them in a Pico. Maybe you even a five. Yeah, because like you can turn them down so much. So Nero yeah. three, smallest tank. Uh, you have up until we would say fifty gallon, and then larger than fifty gallon a Nero five. But again, it's gonna de it's gonna depend on like what type of corals you're keeping in the tank, and it's gonna also depend on your rock work and the type of tank. So this is a peninsula style tank. So we decided to run. Two of them on the outside. This is a cube running the Nero 5. But yeah, if you need help actually, if you want sort of our suggestions, shoot us a photo and an email and maybe we can help you decide what's what's the best pump, if, you know, even if it's not the Nero, if you decide to go with something else. We really love talking about this stuff. I'm just gonna do a quick end of video update on the display tank here because it's looking really good. Um, so we went ahead and added a second clam because I'm crazy. And I love clams, and if it was up to me, oh man, look at that thing open. So if you're ever looking to get a clam, uh, one good trick is run your hand over the light, and you want to see them react to the light. That's always a good sign. Ooh, do it. Oh, well, if you do it too many times, they kind of get used to it, and then they stop. But yeah, you, you want to see a, uh, a clam close and open up again. That's a good sign. But I added this nice little kind of gold maxima. If it's up to me, I would do uh, a tank with just clams. The Zoas are looking really happy. This was going to be a um, sort of a frog spawn garden, but I think I'm going to move this guy and actually do this as a, I think like a Zoa section all throughout here. Just let him mix and mash and, and be happy. We got this new uh, nice red Gawney, loving life under high flow, which is still blowing my mind. You know, sometimes we get these ideas and I don't know where they come from. I, for the longest time, thought Gawneys need low flow. I don't know where that idea came from. And that's how I've always tried to keep them, but my ideas on Ghanis have changed. Uh, the pipe organ's looking really good, and I've added, started building up this kind of cool Aiken garden, because this is one of my favorite LPS corals. Maybe after tied with Duncan, I love Duncan coral and torch. But yeah, this is, uh, is going to be all really nice Aikens throughout here. And they're cool, because that's another coral that can touch one another, as long as they're in the family of Aiken Lord. So I made that mistake many years ago. I thought acans are great with all acans. I put it up next to something called an acan enchinata, and that's a very powerful stinging LPS coral. But this should look really nice as it starts to fill in. It's gonna need maybe four or five more colors to mix up. Acans usually uh, very typical to come in like red and orange colors. We're serving people right now COVID style. You come, uh, yeah, if you place an order on the site for curbside pickup, just come to the door, give your order number, and then we'll be happy to serve you. Like I said in the other videos, I'm going to show you the good and I'm going to show you the bad. The Forest Fire Digi has been really upset for quite some time and I'm not sure why because our other Digi over here looking fantastic. You see the white on the ends? That's actually growth. Some people get worried. They think that white is bad and death. This is a good sign actually. This is when it calcifies. And the green Digi also looks really good too. But this Forest Fire, for whatever reason, is not happy and his polyps are always pulled in. When this happens, I usually look at salt. Um, the salinity may be off a bit, so I'll go and recalibrate a refractometer. 
What else? This guy doesn't want to open either recently. This is a um, Purple Whip uh, Ghani. Uh, what am I saying? Ghani. Um, what is this thing called? What's wrong with me today? What's the name of this thing? The Gorgonian. Gorgonian. Purple Whip Gorgonian. Yeah, it doesn't want to open up. Photosynthetic. He's actually starting to get some algae on the ends, which is not a good sign. But he was happy for the longest time. Corals are weird animals. You know, they're, they're happy for a year and growing and then all of a sudden, not so happy. This uh, pink Cadillac has been looking really good. It's coloring up nicely. It's getting better and better. I'm really in love with these Hydra 20, 32s. I always want to say 26. This guy might have to come out. He's exploding. Long tentacle plate coral. He's, he's getting really big. And then the last thing I'll show you, the hammer garden. It's just filling in really nicely. I kind of moved stuff around and glued them all a little bit tighter. But they're opening up and bunching really, really nice. So I'm very happy. I think these red Montes will come out because they're just getting shaded. Mr. Clown here. Um, I was worried that he was going to overhost his hammer. But the hammer seems to tolerate it. So I guess I'm going to leave him alone, let him do his thing. Don't want to bother his home. But yeah, same as usual. I think this video is over, guys. If you got any questions, comments, you want to talk about Nero's, you want to talk about clownfish, you want to talk about bulldogs, anything at all. Uh, phone number, email, website at the end. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy reefing.